Who silenced NK boxer? Pyongyang's gag order undermines Olympic spirit. The Paris Olympics concluded their 17-day run on Sunday with a spectacular closing ceremony, but not without the controversy. Issues such as sand water quality, on air conditioning failure, and gender disparities in sports have marred the event. Like in other Olympics, there were glorious and regrettable moments for Team Korea. Fencing, archery, and shooting once again proved to be a gold mine for South Korea, the country's dominion in these sports sparked a joke that it's no surprise that the South nation technically is still at war with the North, excels in disciplines involving swords, arrows, and guns. One of the most regrettable parts of the Olympics is that South Korea's swimming sensation Huang was eliminated in the preliminary event of a men's 200-meter freestyle game, and therefore he lost the chance to compete with his rivals in the finals. During the Paris Olympics, a troubling, troubling issue for South Koreans was the apparent repression of a North Korean athlete, freedom of speech. Im and Pang Pang are close the friends, having competed against each other in the round of 16 at last year's Hangzhou Asian Games. Pang won that match, advanced to the quarterfinals, and ultimately secured the gold medal. But during the news conference on August 9th, the Im and Pang pretended not to know each other. Im was cautious with her words, likely due to her uh, unintended role in a gap that put Pang in a difficult position. Earlier this month, the Im mentioned that she and the Pang exchanged words of encouragement when they met by chance in the Olympic village.